Hey, what's up? This is Benjamin John from Stillwork, and I just created an amp capture of my DVMark Marigold tube head using the Neural Amp Modeler. We're going to check out how the model compares to the original amp in this example. This is a lead guitar, and what I did here is capture the real amp at the same time as the DI signal, and then I've got the clips A being and they're playing through the same speaker impulse response on both tracks. The guitar is going through a little delay from Valhalla Delay and a little bit of reverb using Skybox from JST. Let's check out how they compare. <laughs> Okay, so this was just a quick example that I made to see if I could tell a difference to my ears, and it's really not obvious to me. I play this amp all the time in the studio. The signal is out of the amp, into the two notes torpedo captor, into the two notes torpedo cab. And to my ears, it doesn't feel different, it doesn't really sound different, and it's amazing to be able to do this in the box. This is not as easy to use as a conventional amp modeler, because you have to capture your own amps yourself, and there is a little bit of a technical learning curve, but if you're interested in checking this technology out, look for the private Facebook group and look up Neural Amp Modeler on the internet. There are tons of amp captures made by other people that you can check out. And I think what's really amazing about this technology for the home studio user would be the ability to capture the rigs that we use for recordings and be able to store those for doing additional tracks, punch-ins, or being able to work in a remote area where you can't access the amps or you can't make a lot of noise. Definitely some technology to watch. I think it's amazing. Thanks for watching.